Hello, my name is Patrick Riley, and this is my video covering what I learned in my first year flight path course here at Seminole State. Before I jump into things, I want to say shooting and editing these kinds of videos is one of my hobbies that I do on the side, so having this as an assignment for this class is actually really cool. And with that being said, let's just jump right into things. So we've covered a lot in this class, and everything we've covered is worth speaking about, but I have a list to cover the ones I enjoyed the most, and the ones I know will help me the most throughout my time at SCC and just my college career in general. When we first started this semester, one of the biggest topics we covered, at least to me, was time management. Time management is something I've always had a little bit of trouble with. I'm pretty decent with it, like throughout high school and my work life and college life now. I've been pretty good at getting everything turned in on time and not procrastinating, but there have been a few times where I've procrastinated a project or I turned something in right before it was due or sometimes even a little late. And this module really helped me out when we covered things like writing out your schedule, not just like your work schedule, but your school schedule along with work and even your social life at home. That's because seeing all of that written out just helps me visualize what I need to do because when I see it written out, I know exactly what I need to do and when I need to do it. Say if I have a project due next week, but I'll see like the due date would be some project due on Thursday. And now when I have it written out, I see that it's due on Thursday a few weeks in advance, so I'll get it done before then in my allotted time that I have written out in my schedule versus before when I would just kind of wing it and that same project might not have been done to a couple days before where I'm crunched on time and just trying to get it done as fast as possible. A little bit after that, we covered developing and maintaining a growth mindset which personally I think is a great thing because you're already paying for college, so why not get the best out of it and go above and beyond in your classes trying to learn as much as possible so that you can retain that information rather than just turning in the bare minimum to get the grade and move on to the next class. The growth mindset actually helps you gain information that could help you out in that next class, which if you just turned in that paper without thinking twice about it or caring to learn the information that was on it. So you want to maintain as much information as possible so that it can help you out in the next class down the road and you get the most out of what you're paying for in the time spent putting into college. And sure, it might be a little stressful trying to learn a bit more and it might take a little more time, but in the long run, it'll benefit you a lot more. Next, I want to cover the topic of effective communication and how to use that to make connections or just speaking to your professors in general. This is something that before I took this class, I might have just assumed that I would have known how to do it. And while I wasn't bad at effective communication, say, in writing an email to my professor, I didn't have an actual formula down and it might have been a little too casual for how you really should do it. But after learning the information in that module, I now know a much better way to email my professors and in the future if I need to make connections to anyone, how to properly do that without seeming too formal or too casual at the same time. Somewhere right in the middle where you don't seem like a robot, but you also don't seem like you're talking to your best friend. After that, one of the hard hitters that we learned a little later on in the modules was finding your major and studying what career path you want to go down. Before taking this class, I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do, and that idea was actually what I ended up going with. But before taking this class, I hadn't really researched all that. I had a good idea from friends who are already studying this major and from people I know who are already working in programming in that kind of space, but I hadn't done the research myself to that extent that we did during that module and that helped me out a ton. Figured out the path I needed to go down as far as classes go to an extent, but more so I looked into the actual career itself and found out that it's definitely something that appeals to me as I really like computers and I like finding out their inner workings and stuff. So after doing a bunch of research, I figured out that computer science, that degree was the one for me. So yeah, that pretty much covers all the things I wanted to highlight that we learned this semester and that I know will help me in future semesters, as well as my college career in general throughout Seminole State and when I transfer to UCF. There's still a bunch of topics that we learned about that are very important that I just couldn't touch on in this video. All of it was very important, but that's what I wanted to cover, and thank you very much for watching.